Eje mu Burundi nkuko mubizi na rumenyesha makuru wiki in Burundi as you know I was working for an independent media and worked a lot in the field of investigative journalism the most hindrances I faced as many other journalists is that the CDFDD regime in place in Burundi since 2005 is a regime of former rebels who do not understand well the role of a journalist. They do not tolerate someone who goes against their views. I, as a journalist, who always investigated on the killings and assassinations perpetrated by state institutions and the fraud organized by authorities, I have always had issues with the regime. I have been in prison and they have attempted to kill me many times. Frankly, there is no press freedom in Burundi. This is a well-known fact. Apart from the fact that Burundi is facing political violence and security since 2015 when the ruling party gave the third term to the late president Pierre Nkurunziza, people standing against the term of Nkurunziza, some military officers attempted to overthrow Nkurunziza so he may not run for the third the term and violated the constitution Nkurunziza and his supporters ordered the security forces the police and the militia in Bonirakure the ruling party youth wing to kill people they tried to kill journalists more than 107 journalists fled the country it is the regime which kills in Burundi so the journalists who are still there tell us that they have no freedom because they fear being assassinated We keep working and continue to inform Burundians and the international community on what is happening in Burundi. I can say that people have finally realized that it is us, journalists, who tell Burundians and the international community what is going on in Burundi. We have radios and you have also some partners who support us, but we face a lot of challenges and there is a possibility that we may succumb to the political pressure and violence and this will be a major loss for Burundi. It may end in a very bad situation worse than which it is in already. The advice I would give to the Burundian government is that they must be courageous and understand that the work of journalists is essential in terms of developing a country, democracy, and the people's right. It is really important, as you know, in developed countries, journalism is one of the pillars of democracy and development. So I advise the government to understand this if someone is announces something such as the violence it doesn't mean he's an enemy of the country but he is helping the regime to govern correctly but they do not understand this what i can tell journalists in burundi is to be courageous we do not ignore that it is not simple but we must do our best so that we may protect the profession because the profession of journalism in burundi is currently sinking and it will get worse